Today on Alaskan Ballistics, Barnes Factory 127 grain LRX in the 6.5 PRC. Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. My name is Chuck. I hope you are doing well today. Today we have Barnes 6.5 PRC 127 grain LRX. Many of you know that the LRX is my favorite personal hunting bullet, and I really, really enjoy the performance it has had on game. This particular is the 127 6.5, which I have killed a caribou in 6.5 Creedmoor with this bullet, and a moose in 6.5 by 284 with this bullet. So I know it'll take down big game. Let's take a look at the round here, as you can see. And it is just a nickel casing. Doesn't look like they crimped in the primer. That's okay. And there you go. Let's take a look at the box, see what they're saying it gets. 3,010 feet per second. That's not too bad. Their hand loading manual, you can actually get it a lot faster by their manual without going over max or anything. We are shooting it in the CZ600 Alpha. This has been a, a pretty accurate rifle so far, and it's been pretty decent with velocities as long as it's been warm out. Let's take a look and see how it performs over the chronograph, and then we will do a pork shoulder test. It was cold when we went out to do the chronograph. It was 18 degrees, I believe. Let's quit talking and get out to shooting. Here we go, Barnes LRX, 6i PRC factory load. No, they're not going as fast as my hand loads that are from the Barnes manual. So here we go. Let's see what we got here. 24 inch barrel. 2909 2935 So if they were testing a 26-inch barrel about what you'd expect for a 24-inch barrel I do know they use a 24-inch barrel in uh, the reloading manual for this so maybe it's the temperature sensitive powder it is about 20 degrees out here so we'll see. Here's the add up slide, as I like to call it. Let me know what you think. You can welcome to pause it and read the numbers. Let me know if I'm wrong on any of these numbers down in the comments below. I think it's ironic that this actually got less muzzle velocity than my hand loads in 6.5 by 284, which get about 2980 with the Nazar brass and about 3040 with the Laprua brass. So interesting that the 6.5 PRC load from Barnes isn't really as hot as the same bullet in the Barnes load manual for 6.5 by 284 Norma. So really not a lot of difference between the two. In fact, the Norma is more powerful in this scenario. Now, of course, I can hand load this a lot hotter, and I've got a video on that a while back if you want to check that out. Thanks for watching so far. We appreciate it. All right, I have the CZ600 Alpha and 6.5 PRC. And we've got it all dialed in. We're going to shoot this uh, pork shoulder at about 55 yards and see how we're doing here and see if this uh, LRX does what it normally does. These are supposed to be going around 3,000 feet per second, so we'll see. Later we're going to do our chronograph, but anyway, this is what they're supposed to be going. We'll see what it does to the pork shoulder. Here we go. All right, we had five jugs on the table. Three of them are gone, or two of them are gone. Hit right through the bone there. Look at all that damage to the meat and the pork shoulder. Hit right where, right where you're aiming. You were telling me to aim for here, and I aimed right here because I knew it hit an inch low. So that's that. And we have one, two. Looks like it's in the fourth water jug. I think there's still copper on here from that Hornady CX we did earlier. Oh no, it bounced out of this jug. And it hit our backstop. 
and it lost some pedals. Usually T uh, Barnes LRX has got to be going pretty fast to lose all its pedals like that. So maybe, are there any pedals in this jug? Any pedals down here in the meat? Nope. Just bone fragments there. Bone fragments. And then the side jugs have pedals. Just a few pedal, just a few bullet debris on the table. That's not even from this bullet because it's got lead fragments. Yeah, well, we all knew that LRX going too fast. So we've seen it going about about 31 in my 65284 Norma before. We know that LRX going too fast will lose its pe pedals, especially this. But it was going fast enough to have pretty straight line penetration, which is pretty good because you don't always get that in 65 with a monolithic bullet. So something to think about. Let's get this back to the house, weigh what we got left of it. Here's that Barnes LRX, 127 grain out of the 65 PRC. 83.6 grains so what we got loaded left so way over 50 percent but not as good as barnes usually does really surprised at the velocities it got that it shed its pedals maybe barnes is making them a little bit more fragile i don't know and we still have 0.434 maybe 0.333 in expansion despite not having the other pedals on there so not bad thank you for watching our video so far we appreciate it Tell us what you think about this load in the 6.5 PRC. It is a little over an MOA shooter in this group. I did a short on that, so if you want to know the accuracy, it is in my YouTube channel in, on the shorts. And like I said, it is a little over an MOA. But you could probably hand load this particular bullet and get a lot better accuracy in that. And the CZ600A, it has a little bit of a wobbly stock, as we talked about in the full review of this gun. So it could be just that. I've always had Barnes LRX shoot anywhere from 0.7 to 1.25. It's always in that spectrum, no matter what rifle I put it in. Don't forget our MeWe page. we got t-shirts in the links in the descriptions below. We have affiliate links below in case uh, you need anything. And all of our cool affiliate links are on MeWe, Twitter, slash X, whatever you want to call it these days, and over on the arms directory pages as well. Thank you very much for watching. God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range. Godspeed and good hunting.